man of my word. You're gonna kill me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Teacher! Help! Hey guys, Lewis here. Welcome to Kindergarten. Now I saw this on Steam the other day, and I saw it for roughly around 5 bucks, and I thought it was a interesting looking little game. I've seen like one video on it, but I didn't watch too much of it. I watched like the first two minutes of it, which is basically to learn how it works. And so I decided to get the game after looking at some of the screenshots. I didn't want to spoil it too much, so I just looked at some of the first few ones. Uh, but from what I could tell, this is a game where it's kind of like Groundhog's Day. Everything just keeps happening, it just keeps looping. So you could just try doing the day in different ways. Um, I've also been seeing some comments about it in the, on the Steam page that it has a lot of dark humor, so not sure what to expect. I pretty much bought the game, loaded it up to see if it was working, and changed the audio setting and a few of the key bindings, and that's about it. Uh, but yeah. Let's get going. I mean, I think it's a cute looking game. There's like this little guy that we're controlling here. Uh, I'm not really sure what these things are. I see some empty spaces on the dressers and these black boxes of abyss. I don't know. And a piggy bank. Press down to take money. Press up to put money back. Press interact to withdraw. Press planner to cancel. Okay, um, well, usually when I take money with me, I usually bring a few dollars and some extra change, just in case. So I will, you know, always leave some in the piggy bank. Um, we'll take free ten. Three dollars and ten cents in case if I need it. Uh, can I go back to bed? I don't want to go to school. Okay, I guess we don't have a choice. Am I ready to start another day of kindergarten? Yes, I am. Hmm, I smell money. Sniff. Yeah, someone is definitely carrying more than three dollars around. Oh. Damn it. I've already. I'm already. Well, I'm barely into the game and I'm already messing up. Hey, kid. You carrying any cash? Alright, so I'm guessing this kid is the bully. Alright, normally in. Back in when I was in kindergarten, I got bullied a lot, but. Eventually, I stood up to my bully, and we actually became friends. But at the same time, I don't advocate fighting. So, you know, if you're getting bullied, obviously go either stand up to them, like I did, or go talk to a teacher or another adult and get it resolved. Don't even be worried about, like, being called a coward or anything like that. It's a bully. You don't want to deal with that. Uh, but in this case... I don't want to escalate the situation. Fine. Yes. Excellent. Give me half or I'll split your empty skull with my foot. Fine. Here, take it. Oh, and use this as an apple, too. Damn it. Good boy. Now, don't go telling the teacher about this or you might turn up missing like that Billy kid. Right? Oh, I'm gonna go tell the teacher that you took money from me. Oh. Oh, the janitor is creepy. Should he even be allowed on school grounds? How you doing there, Sonny? Don't mind the old janitor here. Just sweeping up after you silly creams. Sweepy, sweepy, sweepy. That's a mop. Ah, so it is. You're also mopping the sidewalk. I'll be mopping your blood off of it if you don't skedaddle. I don't want to skedaddle. I'm a man of my word. You're gonna kill me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Teacher! Help! Oh my god, here. Don't take the janitor's words lightly. We're off to a fantastic start. I got bullied and lost half my money and killed by the janitor. <coughs> All right, let's start this again. All right. Yeah, 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 get it over with. Take my money. Okay, I'm gonna go tell the teacher on you. Teacher. I'm Miss Applegate. I've been well endowed. <coughs> With excellent teaching qualities. Did you by any chance specialize in physics? Uh, Bug stole my money. I guess his name is Bugs. He did. Interesting. I'll make you a deal. 
Bugs is a real troublemaker. He's violent and danger to others. If you go over there and challenge him, I'll make it worth your while. What if he hurts me? He'll build character. What's in it for me? I'll give you a gold star. We all love gold stars, don't we? Is this legal? Probably not, but if this is how I can start my underground kid fighting ring, then it's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> oh. Wow. What is wrong with this kindergarten? Kindergarten has changed a lot since I was in there. Uh, okay. Oh, how I love a good kitty fight. Just go over there and push him a little bit. When he attacks back, just yell for me and I'll put a stop to it. Okay. Well, before I do that, I'm gonna talk to other people. Who are you? <clears throat> I'm Jerome. I don't think you're cool enough to talk to me. Eh, whatever, jerk. I'm Monty. If you need something, come talk to me. Odds are I can get it for you and for the right price. What I need and what I sell changes throughout the day, so come see me often. Ah, so you're the, you're the kid that can get stuff for me. I wanna buy something. Here's what's for sale. Yo-yo, cigarettes, voice recorder, screwdriver. Uh, I mean, I don't know what to get. I guess I'll save my money for now. He says it changes throughout the day, so I, I'll, I'll check his inventory. Oh, um, hey, I'm Lily. You probably heard about what happened to my brother. I haven't. You haven't? It's been all over the news. He went missing a few days ago. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks. That makes you one of the few people that even seems to care. Ever since he went missing, people either ignore me or insult me. Cindy has been trying to put gum in my hair. Why? I don't know, but if I were you, I'd stay away from her. She's really mean. Thanks for the tip. I'm guessing this is Cindy, then. Hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Wanna be my boyfriend? Uh, I mean, I've been told you're mean, but, you know, I don't know what to expect, so sure, I guess. Eh. That's what I'd like to hear. And we'll totally be the cutest couple in school. But first, you have to do something for me. Like what? Isn't our love enough? What must I show you? <laughs> That's cute. But no, it isn't. You're gonna have to prove it to me. Uh, why? Why? How about because I'm the prettiest, smartest, nicest girl you'll ever meet? Does that do it for you? Fine, I'm sold. What do I do? You see that girl over there? That's Lily. She is by far the ugliest, nastiest girl you will ever meet. I want you to take this gum and stick it in her hair during morning time. Got it? Yeah. That's mean, but... Fine, whatever. I can already tell that I don't like you. Oh yay, this is gonna be so great. She'll finally get what she deserves, just like her brother did for dumping me. Come find me for morning time after you've done it. What happened to her brother? You haven't heard? He went missing. Its disappearance totally stole the thunder from my dog Biscuit going missing. I guess everyone just cares more about him than they do about me. Your dog went missing too? Yeah, I brought her in for show and tell, but the janitor said dogs aren't allowed so he took her. Apparently she escaped from his closet and they couldn't find her. Maybe I could find your dog instead. Hmm, interesting proposal. I do miss Biscuit. The question is, do I love Biscuit more than I hate Lily? I mean, Biscuit's your dog, I would assume you love Biscuit more. Um, no, I definitely hate Lily more. You are a terrible person. Yeah, Lily is actually a despicable person and her existence bothers me. Don't worry about Biscuit, just put that gum in her hair during morning time and come talk to me afterward. Uh, what did I get myself into? You! You're gonna get it now. What do you want, dweeb? I'm not giving your money back. Get out of here before I squish you. Squishing me won't make your dad come back. My dad will come back. He just went to the store to get some cigarettes is all. Get out of here or I'll beat you so hard it'll make him proud. He'll never be proud of you. Yes he will. If you don't leave right now, I'll kill you. Eh, dying wouldn't be so bad. Fine, you asked for it. This is for you, dad. Accept your fate. Teacher. Bugs. How dare you attack another student unprovoked again. That's the last straw. I'm sending you to the principal's office so he can finally expel you. No, please, don't. He started it. He's a liar. He said my dad was never coming back. Well, he's right. And after this little incident, neither are you. Burn! Now go to the principal's office, or I'll have the janitor carry you there. But, but, go. Stupid rat. We could have been friends if you didn't rat me out. See? Always tried to befriend your boys. 
or try to bring the friend out of them, I suppose. Get to know them, because, you know, bullies are people too. They just have issues that's causing them to lash out against others, or they're just doing out of, just because they're bullies. I don't know, kids these days are weird. Oh, happy day. I'm finally rid of that little degenerate. Here's your gold star, as promised. Uh, thanks? Hmm. Now, you've got me thinking, though. Jerome thinks he's so high and mighty because he's the principal kid. Why don't we arrange for a trip for him to visit daddy? Oh, so he's the principal's kid. Maybe we could. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Come see me during morning time and I'll tell you what to do. See you then. Um, okay. What else do I do? Hey, Monty. Uh, can I sell you this gum? Oh, a gold star. I can sell you a gold star. Here, take this. Not worth that much, but I suppose some of the bad kids might be interested. Best I can do is a dollar. Really? Ah, uh, fine. Dollar's a dollar. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay, children. It's time to start the day. Everyone headed inside for morning time. Oh, I forgot to talk to that kid. Good morning, children. It's time for you to pick your buddies for morning time. Or you can be a sad, pathetic, and alone. As long as you're the best you you can be. I'll go find a partner. Hey, Monty. What, you want to be my morning buddy? I ain't got time for that nonsense. So unless you're buying or selling or something, get lost. Here's what I got for sale. Yo-yo screwdriver cigarette. Eh. Uh, I don't have anything to sell aside from this gum. Go find a morning buddy, or you'll be an outcast loser like Nugget. I guess that's that kid's name. Uh, you wanted to see me about Jerome? Ah yes, the high and mighty Jerome, always talking back to me because his dad is my boss. I think it's time we finally got even with him. How do we do that? The principal has informed me that one of his hall passes have gone missing. I'd bet Nugget's life that Jerome took them. What's Nugget's life worth to you? Not much, but I make a teacher's salary so even by my student life valuing system it's still a pretty, pretty significant percentage. Uh, why don't you just take the pass? I'm not allowed to search a student without probable cause, and lord knows there's no probable cause for searching the principal's son. That's why I need him to give it to you. I can do that. Excellent, just go over there and get him to give it to you. Hey Jerome, you wanna be buddies? Dude, you know you're not cool enough to talk to me, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Monty's gotta hook me up with a sweet yo-yo. Uh, did you steal a hall pass? Why? You interested in getting one? Yes. Well, too bad. I'm not interested in helping a dweeb like you. Why not? Look, man, unless there's something cool in it for me, you can forget about it. Now get lost. Okay, so I guess we need to get him a yo-yo. Oh, I don't really do the whole morning buddy thing anymore. My brother Billy was normally my buddy, but he's missing. Uh, let's just do Cindy's thing, as mean as this is. Oh, she's crying. Oh, I feel really bad now. Did you just- oh, you did. You put gum in my hair. That's so mean. Cindy put you up to this, didn't she? Well, I don't even care. Leave me alone. Aw, oh, I feel bad. Did you do it? Oh my gosh, you totally did. Wow, what happened? What did she say? Did she cry? I bet she cried. She cried. Yes, I'm so happy. Now you can be my morning buddy, which also makes you my boyfriend. As my boyfriend, you get the honor of playing house with me. Okay, then. Um, but before we do that, you need to get cleaned up. No way any boyfriend of mine is going to bleed all over me. Go to the bathroom and wash up. I'll be over to buy the dollhouse. Uh, okay then. Well, let's talk to this guy first. Uh, Nugget, right? Nugget does not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. What are you busy with? You are curious about the ways of Nugget? Interesting. Perhaps you could be of some use to Nugget. Perhaps. Nugget is in need of a magnifying glass. Do this for Nugget before the next bell rings and you will be rewarded. Okay, I guess. Okay, I gotta get a magnifying glass. Is that it? Hey, don't go snooping around on other people's cubbies. Oh. Well, I can't get it. What is this? Oh. Uh, I guess I won't be able to know. Oh, no, no, no. You can't just leave class without a pass. Okay, can I use the bathroom? I don't know. Can you? Oh. It's kindergarten all over again. May I use the bathroom? Of course, now that you've asked correctly. Here's the bathroom pass. Gee, thanks. Just be back soon. Sure. Who are you? Oh, you're the hall monitor. Not so fast there, little dude. I'm gonna need to see your hall pass before I can let you by. Here's my pass. 
Okay, I'll let you pass, but I can't let you go any further than the bathroom. That's fair. Oh, uh, oh he's too smart. Oh, uh, uh. Damn it. Oh. God, you're so creepy, you know that? Hey, don't you go mess around in those bags. Okay, sorry. Okay, uh, it's a sink. I'm gonna wash off the blood and uh, get out of here, because it's creepy. Oh, you're back. I'll take that bathroom pass back now. Go back to your morning time. Okay. Welcome home, husband. I hope work wasn't too hard, because you're doing you're going to be making dinner tonight. Okay, normally in these situations, you would say yes, dear. But in my case, why do I have to make dinner? Hmm? Because I've been so busy maintaining the house and I sniff sniff. Have you been drinking again? Apparently I'm an alcoholic now. No, honey, I'm just tired. No, sure you are. You're always so tired. I'm sure you wouldn't mind blowing into this then. Is that a breathalyzer? You have a breathalyzer? What kind of kindergarten is this? You bet it is. And if you blow so much as a 0.01, I'm calling your sponsor. Uh, fine, I'll take the test. God, get off my back. Good, blow. 0.32. You're trashed right now. How could you do this to me? You said you would get sober. How can you be a father when you can't even take care of yourself? Be a father. Whoa, wait. Slow down, Cindy. What's going on? I, well, while you were in prison, it, it's probably not yours. I'm sorry. I guess I have my own set of problems to deal with. You cheated on me? What's going on? It was only one time. I was alone. He was there for me when you weren't. I didn't know how to get by. Please don't get mad. We can get through this. I still love you. Uh, I want a divorce. We can work through this. Uh, we can work through this. You think so? Yes, I do. No, you filthy whore. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Uh, fine. Yes, I do. Wow. Alcoholism aside, you're a really great guy. So, what should we do about the baby? Board it. <laughs> oh god. Uh, keep it. That's so wonderful that you would do that. Thank you. No problem. Wow, that was the most fun I've had playing house in a while. You're going to make a splendid boyfriend. I want you to have lunch with me. Okay. Great, I'll see you then. Sure. Okay, kids, that's the lunch bell. Let's go down to the cafeteria for a nutritious meal. I hear we're having slop today. How exciting. Oh, what did I get myself into? This game, uh, I wasn't expecting it. There are some definitely mature themes in here. And for kindergarten. Whoa. Wait a minute. It's a garbage can. I'm not going to dig through that. What is the lunch lady doing? L lady, are you okay? It doesn't help that the janitor is doing his creepy dance down there. You're nowhere near cool enough to sit with us. Get lost. I don't want to sit with you anyway. Jerk. How you doing there, Sonny? Want some nutritious slop for lunch? I'll barely make This is the voice I'm going to go with for the cafeteria, lady. Uh, what's in it? It's an old family recipe. Lots of herbs and spices. And salt, about 89% the principal secret ingredient. 89% is a lot. Oh, it's not that much. Supposedly, it keeps the slop in regulation with the government's new health standards. What's the secret ingredient? I can't tell you that. It's a secret. Also, I have no idea what it is either. You're feeding us seasoned mystery ingredient. But the seasoning is so good, it's the best part. You got anything else? Well, the menu is kind of restricted right now. What with the new health regulations? I have a chocolate bar, but it's pretty darn expensive. $10 for a chocolate bar. God, it was like 75 cents when I was in kindergarten. Why is it so expensive? It's all part of the government wanting you kids to be less fat. You poor things are wasting away before my very eyes. Eh, never mind then. Uh, I guess I'll just take slop. Yes, please. There you go, buddy boy. And don't be shy about coming back for seconds. Plenty of slop to go around. Thanks. Hello, Nugget. No one ever sits with poor Nugget. 
Nugget does not have any friends. I'm gonna walk away from you. Feel bad for Nugget. Please don't sit with me. I don't want to talk to anyone until they find my brother. Okay. Sorry, Lily. Bonnie, you got anything? I figured you'd be seeing me around now. Slop is no good. I don't think anyone is brave enough to try this gut from the janitor. Dumb old man can't even spell it right. Oh, that's right. He did spell it wrong. I want to show you something. I got a breathalyzer. Oh, apparently he doesn't want it. Uh, salad? McGlob Silly Meal? Yeah. I got slop. It's fine. Oh, hey, boyfriend. I saved you a spot. Go get something to eat and come sit with me. I have slop. Eat the slop. Oh, good. I was just thinking about... Oh, darn it. My stupid mother packed me something that's not vegan. She knows I'm all vegan right now. God, that woman is insufferable. Yeah, so are you. I mean, what? Hey, sweetie. Would you be a darling and go get me something vegan? Something vegan? Yeah, you know. Um, like, I don't know exactly what it means. But I know it's good, so just ask around and see if you can find something vegan. Oh, and the slop isn't vegan. I'll try. I mean, Monty has a salad. Actually, I want to talk to the old man about this. Biscuits, he has. Biscuit balls, get your biscuit balls here. Get it while they're hot. You spelled biscuit wrong. Hmm, biscuit balls? That's true, you did spell biscuit balls wrong. Biscuit balls? My own recipe. Came up with it after a little incident that happened recently. What incident? Oh, well, you see, that little girl's dog. Well, I told her she couldn't have him in school, so I brought him to my closet till her mom could pick her up. Okay. Little thing bit me, and, well, he escaped. Yeah, he escaped. Um. Oh my god, her, her dog's name was Biscuit. Are you eating the dog? What? No, nonsense. The fact that the little doggy's name was Biscuit is just a cruel irony. Just forget about it. Get away from my stand. Where did you get the recipe for this? It's a recipe I came up with myself. I have it written down on a piece of paper in the box in my closet. Now, if you ain't gonna buy one, skedaddle. Uh, how much are they? They're a buck a piece. Quite a deal, if I say so myself. I'm sure your little friend Cindy would, uh, <laughs> love to try one. Why would Cindy want to try one if it wasn't her dog? Just a... <laughs> just a hunch I have. Uh, go on, give her one. I'm sure she'll love it. You're being creepy about it. I'm always creepy. Just give her a damn biscuit. I mean, at least he's honest about it. I mean, you're the murderous sort, too. Uh, did you drug it or something? What? Of course not. I'm not that kind of janitor. No, you're the murderous type. This is something else. Something a bit more entertaining. But she wants something vegan. Vegan? <laughs> you're a boyfriend. Wow, talk about setting the bar low. I'll make you a deal. What's the deal? I'll give you a biscuit ball for free. Don't worry. <laughs> it's vegan. I'll also throw in one of the Monster Mon cards. All you gotta do is make sure she eats it. What do you say? Well... She is a terrible person. I am technically a terrible person right now. Eh, deal. Good. Come back here once you're down then. Oh, okay. Hey, Cindy, I got you something. What did you get me? This thing. That's vegan? Are you sure? Yep. Um, okay, I trust you. Much, much. Hey, that's pretty good. It kind of reminds me of my dog in a weird way. I can't place it. Thank you so much for getting this for me. Oh! Biscuit balls. Oh my god, I just realized what. Oh, no problem. You're being so good to me today. You're probably the most well-trained ball. You're probably the most well-trained boy I've ever met. I should use you for something at recess. I have an idea. I'm really liking the way Lily wears that gum, but maybe we should get... But maybe we could put something else in there. What do you mean? Jerome was telling me about how the janitor has all sorts of gross stuff in his closet. I'm thinking we find something to give to Lily. Doesn't he keep it locked? Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Look what I have. You have the key? Yep, a girl has her ways. 
I'm gonna head over and pay off the lunch lady so you can get going on down to the nasty closet. What about the hall monitor? Oh, that's Ellie boy. He'll be in the bathroom having a cigarette. Just don't go in there and you'll be fine. Okay. Lunch is almost over, so listen for the bell while you're in there. The janitor will come back shortly after it rings, so get out as soon as possible. Let's do this. You're good to go. Hurry back. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to the janitor. Did you eat it? Yep. Eh, <laughs> eh, nice. Here's one of them cards you kids like. Now skedaddle. I'm skedaddling. Eh, skedaddle harder. Get away from this creepy janitor. Oh, no, that's the bathroom. That's the classroom. Uh, this is the door to the janitor's closet. It's locked. I've locked the door. Oh. Oh. Well, we know what he does in here. Stolen stuff. There's a box over there. Bloody sink. He's got pliers, a gun, and a scimitar up there. What the hell? I mean, at least he has a plan. It's a bucket that's catching the blood from the thing on the table. This would be truly a vile thing to dump on someone's head. Take the bucket. I gotta get out of here. The janitor's coming back. Oh, did the slop give you the red? Oh, oh wait, that's not the voice. Oh, did the slop give you the reds? Sorry about that. Hope it worked itself out. All the other kids are at recess now. Go run along. This is what happens in the cafeteria. The, apparently the cafeteria lady's just standing in the middle of the room just wailing on the floor with her spoon. That or dancing. I can't tell. Maybe both. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna go now. Go play while you're still young and thin. Thank you, teacher. Hi, Monty. What do you got? I wanna buy something. Here's what's for sale. A monster mod card. Oh yeah, this is the Holy Knight card. He's pretty powerful in the world of Monster Mod. He'll run you twelve fifty. I don't even have that much in my pinky bank. What can I do for you? Oh, I don't have anything to sell. Don't bother me, kid. I'm trying to figure this out. Figure what out? It's this riddle about these stupid duck things. Apparently, if you shake them in the right order, something is supposed to happen. Uh, what's the riddle? Go twice the duck that's furthest south, then two blue before red. After, return to the first duck, then blue. Get it wrong, and you're dead. That's pretty ominous. Yeah, good luck solving that. I don't want to get involved now that I think about it. So, the riddle was two to the south, then two blue, then red, then yellow and blue. So, yellow, yellow, blue, blue, red, yellow, blue. Right? They didn't even try that with quack. I like that. Oh, hey. Solving the riddle seems to have caused the monster mount card to appear. Pick it up. Uh, can I sell this to Monty? Uh, no, I can't. Okay. This is a statue of the principal. There's a red glint in his eyes. Is like those moving camera eyes, or is it like a Terminator statue? Does look pretty creepy. I know he did it. I don't know why, but I know he did. So Lily thinks the principal had something to do with her brother dying. Okay. Or disappearing. But I'm pretty sure the I'm pretty sure her brother is dead. Considering all the bloody bodies around the school. Wait. Uh, no. Oh, there's something here. There's a monster bar card lying on the ground here. Pick it up. Uh, I nugget. Behold, the nugget cave. It is very deep and very dark. What secrets does it hold? Do you want to find out? No. Just trust me. You'll love it. I don't think I will. No one has ever not loved the nugget cave. I'm not going, period. Oh, you'll go. One way or another. You'll go. Okay, I, I can see why you're, you don't have many friends, Nugget. Okay. So I have three apples left. Let's talk to Sunny and tell her about the bucket. Well, what did you get? 
this bucket filled with blood. I'm not ready to show you yet. Okay, so I remember in the tutorial, if we have extra actions, we can spend the apples for like a quarter or something. So, but we should at least keep an extra action just in case if the dialogue requires it. So I think we should keep at least two. So I'm gonna spend one. Okay, I have two dollars and eighty cents. What'd you get? This bucket filled with blood. Oh my god. It's perfect. That's so disgusting. Whose blood is it? Never mind. I don't want to know. Me neither. But I'm pretty sure I know what it comes from. You're the best. Climb up there and I'll call her over. I'm gonna get in position. Hey Lily, come over here. I want to show you something. Why can't you just leave me alone, Cindy? I'm so sick of you harassing me. I'm not gonna harass you. We can be friends. Just come over here. Fine. What is it? Oh, wait. I, I can dump the bucket on Cindy. Oh, this would be perfect for the revenge. Uh, uh, but my goal is to pour it on Lily. As much as I hate it. I'm gonna stay on stay on the path and finish up what I started. I'm sorry, Lily. Ah, what did you just... Oh, you and your awful boyfriend set me up again. I'm so done with this. You made me miserable for so long. Oh, come on. I think it's an improvement. You're just so mean. I can't take it anymore. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh my god. Wow. That hole is deep. Do you think she died? Never mind. I don't care. You should come down from there. Okay, I suppose that it's a good thing that I didn't go into the hole then. That was so great. You made me so happy today. I want you to take this flower. It's pretty like me. This way you'll always have a little piece of me with you. Just a flower? Is, that's all I get? I. One of our fellow students just... Disappeared into what I assumed to be a very deep hole and is most likely dead and no. You give me a flower? Was this worth it? You're a terrible person. I hope you know this. Oh dear. Has anyone seen Lily? I don't see her anywhere. Nugget saw where the girl went. Nugget knows. Well, speaking of which, why is the sandbox just that deep down? Isn't there supposed to be a sandbox bed? Shut up, Nugget. You didn't see anything. Nugget, I swear to whatever god you messed up family believes in, if Lily fell down that hole you dug, I'm pushing you in after her. Nugget will not give the teacher the satisfaction. Teacher will never take the Nugget alive. Oh my god. Wow, that hole is deep. I can't even see the bottom. We're gonna have to get the janitor out here with the ladder to get them out. Oh, Mr. Janitor. I'm coming, I'm coming. What seems to be the problem there, Miss Jiggly Tits? It's Applegate. And I have two of my students stuck at the bottom of this hole. You want me to put the rest of them in the hole? No, I want you to get the ones that are in the hole out of the hole. Can you do that? Oh, well that's less fun. But I guess I can do that. It might take a while though. It might be best if you brought the ones that aren't in the hole back inside so I don't get confused. Very well. Okay, children, we're gonna cut recess a little short today. Let's head inside for show and tell. I hope everyone had a good recess. Let's all get ready for show and tell. Why don't you go first? What did you bring? <laughs> had a good recess. Two of our two of our friends just dropped in the hole and died. Um select an item to show. Well, I mean I have these cards, but I don't know what they do. There's this key and breathalyzer, but I feel like I would get in trouble. I guess I'll show the flower. I don't know. Sure, why not? A flower? That's pretty boring. What's there even to tell about it? No, I I'm kind of with you on that, teacher. It's like. It's pretty boring. It's just a flower. It's probably gonna die. <laughs> it's not boring. I gave him that because he's been a good boyfriend all day. Trust me, it's boring. We're just gonna skip you and move on to someone more interesting. Okay, so find something more interesting for show and tell. Okay, who's next? It's not gonna be hard to beat that, so don't be shy. And apparently it's a competition. 
Well, children, that was a fun little show and tell. Oh, there's the bell. I hope you all had fun day today. I'll see you all tomorrow. That was so sweet of you to show the flower to everyone. You really are the best boyfriend I've ever had. You can keep it forever and always. Oh, joy. I know. Can't wait to, you know, eventually just... I know I'm sounding very cynical about it. It's just because I really hate Cindy right now for what she's doing. She's a terrible person. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, see you then. Well, the, this first day has gone well. Uh, I got bullied, lost some money, got killed by a janitor, and two other kids died. I unlocked Cindy's flower, I don't know what that does. And I got free monster mod cards. And I lost 30 cents overall. Okay, I'm gonna have to make money somehow. Oh yeah, it's Groundhog's Day, so it starts all over again. Oh, that would be terrible. A perpetual, like, lifetime of experiencing Mondays. Mondays being the worst, obviously. This is the literally grass card. It's literally grass. That's all. Uh, I mean, it lives up to its name. This is the Cyclops duckling card. It's not a species or anything, it's just a duckling that had its left eye pecked out by a bigger duckling. That's kind of sad. This is the Evil Forter card. It doesn't fort evil, it's a forter that is evil. So it forts good people? Plot twist. This is the flower Cindy gave to me for being a good boyfriend all day. Perhaps I could show it to someone who needs a little love in their life. Oh, so, oh, I have action points in this room, so I can bring up to free items, I guess, judging by the apples. Huh, well, I'll have to experiment with that. Uh, I had a fun time with this. This was certainly a bit of a surprise for me. I wasn't expecting uh, <laughs> some of the things that happened. But uh, I can tell this game is already going to be quite interesting and that there's going to be a lot of options to go through. So I'm going to be doing a lot more of these, so I hope you guys will be enjoying them. So that's pretty much going to be it for this episode of Kindergarten. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye